Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this specific video we are going to cover carousel. Actually we are going to start a new series, a small series related to carousel and these carousel are not like uh, uh, the static one but we are going to implement a dynamic carousel. So we are going to implement a carousel page then we are going to upload images into the database and then we are going to retrieve them uh, so that we can make our carousel dynamic. So yeah guys uh, let's start so that we don't waste any time okay so first of all I'm going to uh, uh, share with you the layout that we are going to use so first of all let's say I'm going to type here bootstrap examples just like that okay let's move to first example and right here you can find a lot of basic structure related to let's say pricing album checkout etc so in our case we are going to use carousel okay so let me just click it right here so this is how our page is going to look like we don't uh, really need to do anything related to this but actually our point is right here we need to see the carousel okay so I'm going to implement this layout but first for that I need to create a fresh Laravel project so let's start I will move to git bash and I have accessed the htdocs folder so what I'm going to do is let's say laravel because i have laravel globally installed so laravel new carousel but this time i'm going to name it carousel one because right here you can see i already have a carousel folder structure because this one uh, actually the carousel project i'm using it for the hindi urdu lecture so yeah uh, so for the english one we are going to name it carousel one and hit enter so it is going to take some time to create a fresh laravel project so i'm going to pause this video and i will resume it once it's done okay guys so our project is ready right here you can see we have a new or fresh laravel project so let's move to sublime and i'm going to access my fresh project open folder and right here ht docs and carousel one right here okay so yeah let's close that one right here. okay so now what we need to do is we need to get this layout uh, in our fresh laravel project so first what i'm going to do is let's run our project so cd carousel one okay php artisan serve minus minus port equals to 8080 because uh, my php my admin is running on port 8000 so i have to different uh, differentiate the port right here let me show you so 127 just like that 8000 and from here i can navigate to php my admin just like that okay okay guys so yeah uh, that's the point right here that's why i'm using a different port okay so now let's move to sublime and this time we need to implement this page right here in our application so let's access our application 8080 just like that okay so now let's move here on the example page and i'm going to right click right here view page source and i'm going to copy everything from right here so control a let's move to sublime let's move to resources views i'm going to create a new file let's paste everything and let's save it with the name carousel.blade.php just like that okay now let's move to web.php let's create a route i'm going to copy this one paste it right here and let's uh, rename the view to carousel okay and we need to change the url as well carousel okay so let's access this url slash carousel okay so now we have a page right here so let's implement and let's do the remaining task implementing the css or correcting the css and javascript files okay so now what i'm going to do is actually we have a link this is the link to this web page and uh, this is the bootstrap min.css so i need that and you can see the folder structure right here so what we need to do is copy it okay so i'm going to click on it copy everything from right here let's move to sublime let's move to public i'm going to create two new new folders one with the name css and the other one would be any guesses javascript js okay just like that so let's move to css create a new file let's paste everything that we copied from right here and let's name it i think the name was bootstrap.min.css yeah so bootstrap.min.css okay so now it's a css file min.css file now we need to close this and let's try to use the carousel.css so let's open it copy everything 
create a new file inside <coughs> CSS folder, new file, paste everything, save it with the name of carousel.css, just like that. So now it's a CSS file. Now, uh, in order to change, see the changes right here, we need to, uh, right here, we need to correct the CSS implementation. So let's move at the top and right here, let's correct this one. So asset, with the help of asset, we are going to land in the public folder. So after that, we have a CSS folder. So I need to define it right here. So CSS slash bootstrap dot min dot css just like that okay okay now the second file is carousel dot css so i can simply copy everything from here and just rename it right here first let's paste it and let's rename this to carousel and i don't need dot min but i need dot css okay let's see the changes i'm going to uh, do a refresh on this blade file Okay, so now you can see the changes, but uh, we need to implement the JS as well. So that's the remaining task. Let's move down and let's copy these holder bootstrap min.js and popper. Uh, and this is actually a link, so we don't need to do anything for that one. Okay, so let's close this and let's move down and let's copy the holder dot min.js. Copy everything and this time I'm going to create a new file inside JS folder new file paste everything save it holder dot min dot js just like that so it's now it's a min dot js file okay now i'm going to copy everything from bootstrap dot min dot js so copy everything uh, move to js folder create a new file paste everything and name it bootstrap dot min dot js just like that okay so now it's a min.js file last file i think <clears throat> yeah so let's access this popper.min.js so copy it sorry <laughs> copy everything from right here let's move here uh, create a new file inside js paste it and name it popper.min.js okay yeah so yeah guys that's it now we need to make the changes right here so what i'm going to do is once again we need to implement an asset asset sorry okay right here let's define the url so js slash and that uh, not a url but the browser structure and the file name is holder.min.js okay and similarly we can copy this and paste it right here and after that we can simply rename it so right here i'm going to do is popper popper dot min dot js let me just see the name yeah all the three files are min okay bootstrap dot min dot js okay so let's close this and let's do a refresh once again okay now let's see if we have any error inspect okay console okay so guys we don't have any error right here these are warning that uh, we are not able to match these files but that really doesn't matter uh, actually our css and javascript is working fine so these are just the warning okay guys so yeah that was the topic for this video and in the next video we are going to cover the form we are going to implement a form and we are going to upload the images in the database using that form but i think the next video is going to be uh, like uh, a bit lengthy so what we can do is we can do a little bit uh, little bit more work right here so for that what we can do let's say we can create a model migration and a controller right here so yeah let's do that let's save some time for the next video okay so I'm going to stop it let's make a model PHP artisan make model model name would be any guesses guys carousel and I want the migration as well so hyphen M okay so now let's make the controller PHP artisan make control carousel controller just like that 
okay guys so we have our controller we have our model and we have our migration so in the next video we are going to implement the form we are going to upload the images using that specific form and then we will show our images or carousel images right here so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and see you in the next one